I noticed that you are one of the contestants of this debate. Yes. Please, what is your expectation? Yes. You see, the Holy Spirit has spoken to me eh? and I'm very, very sure okay. I'm going to win this election. I'm going to sweep the pools with the broom. <laughs> okay, so what are the plans that you have as an agenda for this uh, coming debate? Uh, 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 so sorry, uh, any other question you need to ask him? You ask him inside. Sorry, Why sorry, you sorry, 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 Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. Please, what's, please tell us your name. I know you are one of the contestants. Yeah, I'm Iberi. Yes. Okay. Iberi. What What are your expectations for this debate? I have so many, so many things to say, but I. Let's have it. Let's have it. I just prefer to say it inside. Wow. wow yeah. Wow. Oh. Yes, but you, can you tell us one of your plans that you have for this uh, debate? <laughs> yes, I would love to tell you, but uh, you hear them inside. I can't say them here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, can you tell us your name, one of the contestants? Uh, yes, okay. uh, my name is Mr. Bestem. Yes, can you tell us one of your expectations that you have for this uh, debate? Uh, my expectation for this debate is that uh, it goes well and every candidate uh, lays bare their, their vision for this forthcoming election and let the better candidates you know pick up from there and win the uh, race. Wow, wow. Thank you so much. Yes. I have to so go. Sir, you you know, know, thank you so much. Better, better. I know you now. I give you a dirty slap. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome. Today is the day we are marked for the debate for you to know who among these three persons will be my national caretaker. You see, I decided to throw this part because of my belief in democracy. And I don't want what had been happening previously to happen again, where people are elected in a macabre way, okay. in a jamboree way. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that things are done properly. And that is why I called for this debate. You sit back, listen to them, and you know who among them to vote for. Meanwhile, I brought these ad hoc persons who are professionals to conduct this debate. And they are here, they will introduce themselves, and you already know the contestants. And meanwhile, for your information, these are members of my compound nationwide. They are here to be part of the debate. And so today is basically for debate. And at the end of the day, you know who to vote for. Thank you. Um. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Miss Winnie Adama Ameshina. I am one of the ad hoc staff Continue. members, and I'm here to witness this debate. You are welcome. You are welcome. I am Mr. Ugo Tait, one of the ad hoc staff here to conduct this debate. Um, proceeding to what we have for today, we we'll want um, the contestants to introduce themselves, uh, starting from you, sir. Okay. Thank you, everyone, and also thank you for coming. My name is Basten, aspiring for the position of the national caretaker of this compound. The next person, please. My name is Iberi, aspiring for the position of caretaker. <laughs> the next person. What be this? What Hello. Be, what be this? You're next. You they use your full show to play. My name is Kubo, aka the Prophet. I'm aspiring for the position of the national caretaker. Clap out, clap out, clap out for Oh. All right. The very first question coming is for you all. Okay. What experience do you have on leadership as aspirant to national caretaker? 
Um, thank you so much for the question. My experience is very vast. I have been able to go to other compounds and other places, other seminar to get information, to get uh, leadership skills. And I've also been one time caretaker of this compound and that al alone has uh, given me a good uh, record so far. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, the next contender, please. The question is, what experience do you have on leadership? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, obviously, second contender seems on E. So, the third contender, please. Over to you. Bless you. You see, as a prophet, I can lead my people to God. Make sure they pray. Bring them closer to God as a leader. Jesus loved them. God loves all of us. Bless you. They play. Um, I'm going to take the second question, which is, how do you intend to improve the growth of the compound? If oh. elected. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Uh, that's a wonderful question. Uh, how do I intend to... Sorry? Improve the improve growth of, of the, the compound. compound. Okay. I, I intend to improve the growth of the compound by bringing in investors. Persons who will come and uh, build infrastructure that will help the compound to grow. You understand? And also build... Uh, uh, and also get... Uh, the, the right persons to do the right job in terms of tax collection and all that. Thank you so much. All right, thank you very much. Over to the next, Mr. Berry. Uh, do I take the question again, ma'am? No, no, no. Okay. Um, I'm going to buy everybody iPhone. Uh, yeah. So they can browse and see things online. <laughs> okay, uh, the third contender, please. You see, if God be for you, who goes that man? Jesus. I'm going to improve their spiritual growth. Make sure they grow as individuals oh, around the compound nationwide. What is it? That's for you. Okay, thank you very much. One uh, last question before we ask our audience, and that will be What are your expectations? from the tenants based on conduct and character? Hmm. Amazing question again. My expectations are simple. Cooperation. Maximum cooperation. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, sir. So, to the second contender, please, let's hear you. We're waiting. Please, the third contender, take off. What's the question again? You don't have future here. The question is, what are your expectations from your tenants in based on their character and their conduct? You see, when you're talking about character, we don't need to assassinate anybody. Character assassination, we need to stop all those things. Everybody needs to be of good conduct. I don't mean conductor. To be mumu. Good conduct. Not character assassination. Put them together. Lead them in the way of Christ. Bless you. Why I forgot my God? All right. Uh, we had him. So, moving to the audience. Do we have any questions yes, for yes, the contestants? Yes. Okay. The man on check. Can we hear you, please? Thank you. Daniel Mitchell here. Um... I'd like to ask the first um, contender what he would do about conflict resolution and um, clash of interest and personalities in the compounds when he becomes, if he becomes the national caretaker. Thank you very much. So let's hear the first contender. Um, thank you for that question, uh, Mr. Mitchell, right? Oh, thank you. You see, definitely there'll be conflicts, right? Your question is how to resolve it. It's as simple as that. We're just going to hear from both sides and look for a common ground to, um, to make them work together. We don't need violence. Violence is not needed here. 
Okay, so it's as simple as that. Take away violence and just give the people what they want. Peace. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Peace. Beautiful. Peace. Thank you. Over to the next contender, please. Let's hear you. It's simple now. I'll call the landlord to come and set you in my car. Can the third contender, please, tell us. You see, what brings conflict? Hunger. Make sure that there is food. Let them chop. Let them not hear hungry is catching me. They start fighting. That's how you resolve conflict. For example, if you're hungry, you start fighting this auntie. So the only way to resolve the conflict let there be food, cassava, gari, ewa, indu, and other things. Okay, we heard him clearly. Anyone else with a question? Yes. Okay, madam on white. I'm Miss Juliet Eze. My question goes to the three contestants. How do your core values align to the universal rights and freedom of people in the compound nation? Okay, that's a very beautiful question. Let's hear you. Yes, no doubt that's a very beautiful question, like you said. But uh, my my answer is simple. My core value is peace, equity, and justice for all. Mm -hmm. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, that's you. enough. So, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, Miss Eberi, can we hear you? Like I said before, I was going to get everybody iPhone so they can make calls. Come hey. hey. please. Hey. All right. So what we are talking about core value. We move straight to the point. I have to call you. Yes. Bless you. I have to value you. So if I call you and I value you, that's my core value. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's enough. Any other question? The lady on black, can we hear you please? Okay. My name is Ubanansi. Uh, I have to judge this question down to the three contestants, please. Um, what policies do you oppose or will you propose to improve in the compound as a national caretakers? Thank you very much. Okay, uh, can we hear the first contender, please? Uh, uh, Miss Uba, right? That, that was a nice question. The, the policies I will improve upon is to make sure that taxpayers' money do not go to waste. Mm -hmm. It's being used to do what it said it should be used for. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's enough. Can the second contender please proceed with your answer? Yes. I will ask everybody to upgrade their iPhone to the latest version of iOS. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's enough. Can the third contender please? Can we hear you? You see? While I was speaking with the Holy Spirit, he told me, buy them Bible. That's the policy you need to implement in the compound. Jesus. Get them Bible. Mm. Bless you. All right. We all have had uh, their answers. And we are proceeding to the final conclusion of this debate. You've had their answers and they will be scored based on the competence of their answer. So we are moving forward to, we are still piling the results. After we compile the results, the landlord will come forward to give us the closing remark for this debate. Thank you. As a man for the job. Best bet. See, let me just tell you, I, this is national uh, critical. This thing should go to best ten. Because I know it's going to be I don't know what I'm thinking. So I know that it's going to be well. Yes. So let's vote for him. Let's vote for him. All right, thank you very much. Please uh, celebrate yourself, celebrate yourself. Uh, it is a debate well done. It is incumbent on the landlord to give us the rundown and then the necessary thing. Thank you, Mr. Landlord. Okay. Uh, this is the result okay. of the debate. <clears throat> All right. Um, thank you for a job well done my ad hoc staff you're welcome you're welcome mr landlord 
Yes, I have uh, the result here for this debate. And I'm happy for the large turnout of members of my compound nationwide for participating in this debate and the intelligent questions you ask them. You see, I decided to take this path because of what had been happening in previous elections where many people come out and become things I never expected from them. Thugs, bullies, militants, tyrants, totalitarian human beings. So this time around, I decided to make it this way for democracy to reign, which will serve as a sine qua non for our nation. Right now, the result is here with me. And um, from what I've seen so far, I'm not to call any results for the three of them. But from your reaction, you know who to vote for. All right? And so that is what I will say on this debate. It was well done. Once again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right? And so, so you know who to vote for when the election comes. Thank you. God bless all of you. See, we need to make a plan B. We need to find a way to get Anek on our side. Plan B? Don't you see that he has all the whole crowd here? How about he secures the population in other compound? See, don't worry. The population does not matter. Yeah. The most important thing is for us to be able to get to align with INEC. We need to get INEC working with us. But don't worry. I'll take care of that. Uh, are you sure? Don't worry. Eh? When I say don't worry, you should know. I mean it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, thank you, 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 Malida, 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 please, you have to calm down. Your problem is that you refuse to listen to me. Is that what we like to Malida, listen, Malida, it's your problem. I told you all these things. Manila, I come down and explain all these things. As one who is experienced in this game, you don't need to listen to me. Ay, God. Manila, I have an experience in this politics. It's as what will I do now? What? Manila, I, 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 I've lost. Manila, no, you've not lost. My problem is that if you are listening to me, I said, come down. Let me go and represent you in that debate. Now look at what happened. Besten just dust everybody. Besten dust everybody. You can ordinary Besten. Who is Besten to win us? Who is ready to vote for him? Hey, uh, but Manila, I assure you that all hope is not lost. Oh, no, no, don't tell me that, Mr. All hope is lost. Listen, all hope is not lost. All hope is lost. Oh, my leader. Have you, uh, see, I've seen a situation <laughs> where someone will win the debate <laughs> and will not win the election. <laughs> debate is not election. <laughs> debate is just, is just a means of preparing your mindset for this election. If there's any place you are doing mistake, you can now correct it. You understand? What am I going to do yes, now? Yes, I think we need to put our energy, our money, our structure, everything we have. We have to put it on this our online campaign. Are you sure? Yes, that is where we need to pump in money. As a matter of fact, we need some money. We need money. If you say if you would need to sell your iPhone so that we can begin to push in money on this online campaign, that is all we need now. But I cannot sell my iPhone. I will just give you money. Uh -huh, we just need money to start this online campaign. Let's push it so that people, so that everybody will win in the whole world. So they us win this election. Yes, eh? no. Please, I just want to, don't panic. See, the worst thing that will happen, if you, if you panic and start having high BP, before you know, you hear that somebody collapsed and died in the election. So don't do that. Just calm down. Allow me to take the lead. Yeah. Eh? I just calm down. Just go in. Just calm down. Eh? Mm. Let me be sourcing information from other political parties. Eh? That can, allow him. Let him celebrate. Mm. He will not win the election. I assure you that. Eh? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. He can never win the election. He will never win the election.
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Man, just come down. Just prepare every money you have. Just, uh-huh. just send it. Any money you have. Okay. Send it. Send it. Thank you. 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 like the video you watched yeah all right thanks for watching that video i hope you enjoyed it see you in two days with another interesting episode in every two days we give you different series on this channel so in two days time come back to watch another interesting episode of a new series and next week the series you just watch right now come back by this time next week to watch another episode the next episode i am very very sure you will be on this channel every day trust me subscribe tell your friends about this subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any episode see you in today's and next week what am i saying see you <laughs>